Hey there everybody. It has been quite a while since I've uploaded a video. As a matter of fact, I think maybe it may have been about August or September of last year. But first of all, let me start by saying as we are dealing with this terrible pandemic in our world, I pray that you all are remaining safe, that you are healthy, and that you are staying well. Last year, we were making some changes to our backyard. We had our fence installed and we did that after I was unfortunately violently attacked by our neighbor's pit bull, after which we expanded our patio. We also ordered this Allen Roth gazebo from Lowe's and as you see, it's being delivered now. My husband and our son, dudes number one and two, they assembled the gazebo last year and I did the recording, but I never edited it or uploaded it. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. As a matter of fact, I have other videos that I did last year and I also need to edit and upload those as well so I can bring you up to date as to what's going on with us now in July of 2020. So again, thank you all so much for joining me and I hope that you enjoy the video. Okay, we're getting ready to start on the gazebo so he had already started when I came out here so these four bolts came out of it honey yes okay so he just took out those four bolts and does it come off easy yeah. it's oh, okay aluminum. it's lightweight aluminum many it is. people had a question with this what do you do with this after you finish this we'll figure out something for it so okay So, of course, he's going to start by taking out all of the pieces. And y'all look at him with my shoes on. Give me my shoes. God can just give me a nice cloud. God need to give you a cloud, yeah, because it is hot. So he's going to take out all the pieces and lay everything out to make sure everything is in the box. Oh, boxes. So it's five boxes in all. The metal part of the roof, it's all in that one box. So he's just going to move that out of the way because he does not need that right now. And I just want to let everyone know, dude number two is home. But he said it's hot and he just want to... Well, he just got home. Yeah, I just got home too. <laughs> it's been about an hour and 15 minutes and he started off getting everything outside of the box and where where the directions he went through the directions you guys everything is labeled really really good everything is labeled well it's um, covered well with the plastic but you know with the part descriptions it tells you um, like part A is a supporting post you should have four of those so forth and so on so everything is um, labeled like that and what is it that you were looking for honey that was this was it part d okay now one of the things that we realize is this part d yes this is considered part d and it was inside of these right here was it inside yes. of these it was inside of these and they were all wrapped together so it took them a few minutes to find those because we didn't realize that they were inside of another part and again, it was all wrapped together, so we found that. And once he found that, he was ready to get started. Um, of course, these are the posts, so everything, he got the posts kind of put in the area where he wanted them. You guys see, we have since brought out the umbrella, and he has covered up his head. It is scorching hot out here. He also realized, too, after laying the stuff out for just a few minutes, as hot as it is, he went to pick up, was it one of the beams? He went to pick up one of the big beams, and it was so hot. He wanted to drop it, but he didn't. Um, so he just wanted everybody to be forewarned. If you're doing this, assembling this outside, and it is hot, just be careful when you put this aluminum out, and then have to go back and pick it up. He did go in the house and, and get some gloves as well, because this stuff is really hot. So, again, it took about an hour, 15 minutes to do 
this part going through everything so now he's back in his instruction booklet over there I did read somebody they were talking about the dimensions and you really need I think it says I don't know if online is is a if it says 12 by 10 and they were saying that there was a discrepancy in the measurements and they had had their patio poured ended up having to have it extended because it was not quite large enough and they recommended at least having a 12 by 12 patio for this you guys know we just had our patio extended so we have more than enough room to accommodate the width and the length of this so just be mindful make sure you mark your space I'm sorry you measure your space before you start this project just to make sure you have enough room oh, oh. Right here. Look, look, Man, look who is coming out the right door here. hey what, what, what hey there could you hurry up and shut that door for flies to show up what look look hey there hey what's your name just got back in town and ready to jump out here and help the old man. I'm oh, not. You no, ain't you're ready not. to help me? Mm -hmm. Well, take your tail on me. You know what I mean? I'm not going inside the house. It's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, you're going to be out here sleeping. You need to get you a shirt, man, and just wet it. I'm telling you. And wet it? Just soak it in water. Just stick your head through the sleeve thing, throw it back, and just, man, look. It ain't about being cute, bro. It's about surviving. Man, them people in there. I get a towel or no? I, I wouldn't mess with a towel or shirt. Shirt? Trust the tag now. Go ahead, man. Just like that. Okay, now lift up. Here, right, here, go, here goes some ice. You're going you gonna to enjoy this, boy, when you're out there in the sun. See what I'm talking about back there? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I got you on this, boy. I told you, I'm going to look out for you. Roll that in. Something like the women do with they, they scarves. I don't know. Just, you know, we're going to do it. There it is. Here. Now, show sure, your job. It's your job. I'm going to give you something. Come on, man. Ain't playing. <laughs> Y'all look at this. It is. 2019, look what's in his hand. Y'all know anybody that still listens to a cassette tape. Go ahead, baby. Put your little tape, your little cassette in. You guys, when he's doing major work, he listens to this series called Left Behind. I probably mentioned this before. Look, only him. Behind. How soon can I get to London? What's in London? Well, yeah, a good one. I will. Hey, what's your problem? Why are you looking at me? Okay, I just wanted to show you guys that we've come across one of the aluminum posts that's scratched and it's a little dented. You see this right here? Um, but hey, as much as having to transport all of this stuff, in my opinion and my husband's, it's not even worth trying to take it back or have them come and get it. I mean, hey, we can camouflage it. That's not a big deal. I know some people it would really aggravate them, but that's not a big deal for us. When you want to anchor it in the ground, there's some pins. If it's in the grass, ours is going to be on concrete. Okay. So that is just slide over to give you the decoration. So the, the metal plate at the bottom will let you anchor it to the ground yes. or something. Oh, so you just slide it. Slide that up again. Let me see. So you slide it up. Oh, and you can put. Yeah, for anchor oh, okay. bolts. Or okay. if I want to, I can drill it into the concrete. Into the concrete. But at 750 to 800 pounds, and this is not going to move. This is so you don't think move. we're going to need to drill it? Okay. You guys, I did realize too, all these little extra blankets that we have that my husband never wants to get rid of and puts in the garage, they have definitely come in handy, these comforters for laying this out so it won't get scratched up by, um, on the concrete. So you guys are getting ready to do two at one time now since, one time. since Steven is finished. Okay, with the yeah, post. Yeah, both of your tools, Steven. The, it was tightening with, yeah. Um, tightening with? Yeah, you know what you was tightening with. Here's your other one. There. Oh, this piece? The end piece? Yeah. Yep, down at the bottom. And there you go. And then you want to take this and make your top board in. And with that said, connect it together. Now it's just a matter of going. Slide it over? Yeah, just slide it over. The top piece, make sure the top piece clicked in. Oh, Behind way. you. Behind you, yeah. Top piece click in. And we're ready to tighten down. Ready to tighten down. We're going from pauses from E to L. Dang. Got it? 
and keep uh, his end keeps coming loose. There you go. Good. There you go. Now, put your bolts. That's what you want to do. Grab what I grab. One bolt, one washer, smooth in, out, flat in. You can see it look like it's not. Got it? Okay, now, what you want to do is put that through. Another washer, bolt. Yeah, another washer, flat washer, just like the other side. Mm -hmm. Then your bolt. Same process. You can take your gloves off. The only time we really need the gloves on is when we're picking up the metal because it's so hot. What's your other thing I did? Had to go get pillars and protect the knees. That's one, and I gave you a little shiny. Got to have a baller here, and he has issues with those knees. He just had knee surgery a few months ago, so. Uh, okay, this is done. That we concrete is hard. Watch out. Oh, your side is done? It's done. Okay. No, I ain't gonna do that. That's you know, the worst time I'm gonna wash her. There you go. Put that on. And get started. Okay, you're gonna need this. And you're gonna need your other piece here. Now, don't fight against it. They gave you these tools for a reason. You gotta keep it from moving. You gotta keep it from moving. Yeah, and then you take your little thing. Now go. Oh. Wait, is that for that then? Go ahead, keep no, uh -uh. just yeah, take out. Or you can say, well, if you want to go the other end, uh, hold this like this and do what you normally do. So that you, way's faster. Yeah, this way it's faster. Yeah. Are you gonna have to reach too far to do that? Oh, you sound like a senior citizen. I do. And these ain't no joke. Ice them down. Now, see, it's hard to turn with that. Now you, you want to turn your string the other way. No, turn this. Way? No, this way. See, I give you a longer neck now. Yeah, see? It's easier that. to handle there it. There you go, see it? Now take it out. Or you can pull, pull it, hold it right there. Keep it there. Pull this back now. As long as they're going in the opposite direction. There you go, now take it. Yeah, either way around. Gotta educate them. A lot of parents won't teach their kids to do nothing. So guess what? They don't do nothing. But you can't blame them because they just don't know. So he's learning. First one, he's got it. Second one, it's locked in now. It's real tight. Baby, watch the light. Your job is to just not let that fall. You got that in? See, that's what Jesus is, the Son of God. This old thing there, huh? I'm going to move this down. Here you what? Are you trying to center it? I want to center it. Well, you want to center it in coming out the door? Okay, do you have to take it and consider, does it go out on the side? No. The roof part. Uh, you may not be able to center it on the door if the roof part goes. I'm trying to get at least a. Yeah. And not only that, let me make sure the door ain't gonna hit it. Is the door clear? No, the door gonna clear. The door gonna clear. So you can't have it. You're gonna have to move it back. <laughs>
All right. Lift up. Lift. There you go. Push that in. Just go straight down in there. Mm -hmm. Put your big gloves on. Oh, yeah. That might help. We're going to clear it. Much space. We're going to be able to clear it. You think so? I think so. Oh, because you would know once you put the A-frame in. Yeah. Ah. Ooh. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Cause see the pole is is it needs to be squeezed out some. It's like Hold on. 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 And now it's time to revisit the instructions to see exactly where we go from here. Let you see how much space we have when the door is open that we clear it. He's he's asking for an icy, and the other one is asking for chicken tenders. Yeah, chicken wings. wings. Chicken wings. Excuse me. It's, a, it's hot. It's just you know you get irritable when you get hungry. Well, don't get irritable, baby. I don't want to get irritable, but I am getting. I'm becoming well, a monster. You need a Snickers. Snickers. You need a Snickers. You're not yourself. I'm not myself. No, Snickers ain't gonna do it. Uh, I do need some chicken. Wings. Well, you all have had water. Okay, we, what? So you're just holding that piece in the middle right hold, now. Yeah, the whole so nothing is bolted in. Nothing is bolted in. Oh my goodness. Well, how would you bolt that? You couldn't do that by yourself. This piece here, this has been very tedious. It goes on the corners here. These two little pieces at the bottom, they're supposed to slide in these little slots right here. And then you have the little hooks at the top that's supposed to hook into here. So my husband ended up having to kind of bend these a little bit and then use the hammer to get it in there. What's that? Let's give it to my heart. I'm not sure. I think it's this here. Did yep. it be turn, turn like that? Yep. Oh, you got to turn to the side to get it up through there.
there are slots up there that that just sits down inside. That's, that's him, Stephen, not you. Why? Because it fits down in there and then screws in. Yep. Okay. So the bolts that are at the end where you are from those, were they H brackets or L? Which H. one? H's. You just take them out and then they'll slide down and then you screw both of them in at the same time. This all the way before I put that up there. Yeah. What's the letter? That's Y. Y. These are T. Mm. They're gonna click into that H. They're gonna click into that H. H is what's already up there, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, H is already up there. Okay, we are going to stop for today once he gets this screwed in. So this is what we've accomplished on day one. And we are four hours in. And as it pertains to parts, this is what's left. So we will pick up again. Um, are you trying to pick up tomorrow, Bay? Yep. Well, we'll see how you feel once you get home from work. Saying that.